So this lesson is going to focus on another thing which rocks are found in, and that is soil. So we're going to be looking at what soil is, what the components that make up soil are, and different types of soil. So being aware of different types of soils, minerals, and rocks. So we're going to be able to describe the three types of soil and the characteristics of them, and how soil can be used in products. So firstly, what is soil? Soil is formed from rock particles that um, are formed whenever erosion happens. So soil is made of rock particles and it's that sediment. If that sediment stays on the land and doesn't make it into seas, then it goes towards making soil. So soil is formed from rock particles, air, water, and particles from dead plant and animal matter called humus. And the three types of soil are classified depending upon how much sand, which is bigger particles, or clay, smaller particles are inside it. So the three categories of soil are sandy soil, clay soil, and then something in the middle which we call loam soil. Sandy soil is a dry soil that has lots of air in it. And because it has lots of air, water drains through it very well. Clay soil is very sticky and it doesn't have much air in it at all, which means that if you add water to it, the water stays in the soil and doesn't drain very well. And finally, we have loam soil. Loam soil is between clay and sand. It will hold on to water, but will also drain well because it has some air in it. And loam soil is the best soil for growing plants in. Loam soil, as I said, is the best type of soil for growing plants in. When water enters cracks in rocks and the rock freezes and expands, it can break the rock up um, into particles and slowly turn it into soil. So rocks breaking apart can lead to that rock turning into soil. Soil also contains water and air. Now the type of soil found in any region of the world is dependent upon what rocks are found in that region. So it is the amount of each type of rock and the rock type and the proportion of sand and clay that will determine how we describe the soil in any region. So remember, sandy soil contains a lot of air and it drains water well. Clay soil, which is that middle, really dark looking layer, it has hardly any air and it holds onto water very well. And finally, we have loam soil, which is in the middle and is the best for growing plants. Loam soil is, a, is about a 50-50 mix of clay and sandy soil. So if we're looking at the air content and its ability to drain water um, and the size of rock particles for clay, sandy and loam soil. When we look at clay soil, it has very, very, very small particles of rock. It has a very low air content and it's a low permeability to water. So that means it doesn't let water drain through it. Sandy soil, the rock particles are bigger. It has a high air content and it also has a high permeability to water. So water will travel through it very quickly. So it can't hold on to water well. And finally, we have loam soil where we have a mixture of small and large particles of rock. 
It has quite a bit of air, so it's got a high amount of air, but it has a medium permeability to water, which means that it will hold enough water for plants to be able to grow, but it'll also be able to drain water away so that the plants will not have too much water. And more we need to know about soil is that soil forms in layers. And if you start at the surface of the earth and dig right down until you hit something solid that you cannot dig through, you would have six different layers. The last layer, the solid that you wouldn't be able to break through, is called bedrock. The first layer on top is where you've got mostly your organic matter. So this is where you've got your bits of dead plant and decaying insects and things like that. And then underneath that we've got something called topsoil or layer A. And the topsoil is the bit that we dig up to plant our uh, plants in. We then have a layer called E, which stands for alluviated. And don't worry, you don't need to know that word. Um, and that is um, a mixture of sandy and clay soil. And then we have another set of layers called the subsoil, layer B, the parent material, which will have big bits of rock in it, layer C, and then finally the bedrock called R. If you are taking a sample of soil, you'd want to um, collect all of these layers and it shows the horizon or a soil profile for that land it needs to look at all of those different layers. So we've got the humus or the organic layer on top. That is all of the living things on top that have started to die. Then we have our top soil, which is the dark soil that you usually dig up to grow plants in. We have your alluviated soil, your subsoil, your parent material, and finally your bedrock. You're not expected to know the names of these layers, just that soil exists in layers. And that's just a representation of it um, using chocolate for some reason. Now, um, soil can be used for uh, different things. And one use of soil is in cosmetics. So clay, a type of soil, has been used in skin care for lots of different things. And clay has been used for um, skin treatments and also um, uh, to improve the freshness of the skin from back in Egyptian times. So we're talking uh, about 3000 years ago, clay was in use and it's still in use today in lots of cosmetics. Things like face masks. So we have gone over the three types of soil, sandy, loamy and clay soil, and been able to say that soil can be used for cosmetic products. The rest of this video is going to be some practice questions. So there are four things that soil is comprised of. What are they? So we had rock grains, water, air, and then we had the organic material. So the dead or dying plants and animals, which can be called humus. What are the three types of soil? Three types of soil. They are clay, sand, and loam. What do loam soils contain? Well, they contain clay, sand, and they also contain a lot of material for growing plants. And can you say one use for clay? Well, it can be used for face packs. It can also be used uh, for making pottery and things like that out of clay. And that has been our introduction to soil.